Over the last few months, there's been a lot of talk about Social Security and the issues surrounding the amount of money the fund has. I'll spare you the details, but in essence, the amount of money being taken out of Social Security is growing faster than the amount going in. In fact, the Congressional Budget Office warns that workers may see a 23% reduction in promised Social Security benefits by 2034 if there aren't changes made. So we wanted to model out a few scenarios so that you guys could see what kind of impact a reduction to Social Security like that could have on a plan. Plus, we're also gonna discuss how this impacts your decision to file, as well as some possible solutions, so you don't wanna miss that. Now, obviously, this is a pretty big deal. There are millions of Americans that rely heavily on Social Security to be able to live in retirement. The Academy of Actuaries said, cutting benefits for future beneficiaries only may not be enough to achieve solvency. Instead, benefits for those retirees already receiving benefits may have to be cut, or Social Security's income may need to be increased. For most of our clients and our audience, Social Security is just one part of their retirement income system. But it's still a really important part of that program, and a reduction in Social Security could be life-changing. Okay, so let's break this down. Social Security is expected to be reduced by 23%, and let's assume we have a $30,000 annual Social Security benefit. We're talking about $6,900 reduction per year of less Social Security. And let's say you're retired for 30 years, that's about $207,000 in less Social Security benefits that you never received. But it's actually worse than this because this calculation didn't factor in cost of living adjustments along the way. So each year, the amount less that you're getting in Social Security is going to be increasing, which means over 30 years, the total amount of less Social Security that you get is actually going to be much bigger than 207,000. So how do we calculate that amount? We could do it old school and use a future value formula, but I prefer to use our financial planning software because for one, we can do it faster, but we can also build in other variables like a portfolio, retirement spending, your taxes, and a bunch of what if scenarios as well. And the nice thing is that all of these factors get to be considered all at the same time. Okay, so if you aren't one of our clients or maybe you've not seen other videos where I've used this before, this is one of the tools that we use with our clients for their retirement planning. And these blue bars here represent a portfolio's value over time. And the toggles here on the left are changes that we can build into the retirement plan. So one of the changes that we actually have programmed here is this reduction to Social Security as discussed. Now, some other assumptions that are built in here are pension income and a monthly spending of around six to $7,000, inflation of about two and a half percent and a growth of about six. Now, before a bunch of you say, wow, $7,000 a month is so much money. Remember, this figure is pre-tax, so close to a third of it could go towards taxes. All right, so right off the bat, we can see that this family's plan is currently sustainable. It doesn't really appear to have any critical issues like overspending or things like that. Now, it's important to note that just because a picture looks like this doesn't mean that everything is gonna be fine for forever. This is a linear projection, and so the reality is going to look much bumpier than this. Plus, if we throw in bear markets here and there, which we know will happen throughout your retirement, then things are gonna look much different. But for now, just to keep things simple, we're gonna keep this as is. So let's see what turning on the toggle for reducing Social Security does. And by the way, before I do that, this model has a Social Security benefit of right around $30,000 and taking it at full retirement age, or FRA. Okay, so we have a pretty visible impact to this plan. Does it look like they're in danger? Maybe, if we have some years of bad market returns, especially early or some other variables come into play, things will look worse. But as is, if nothing changes and the markets are calm, it looks like they're gonna be fine. By the way, the reason that the decline over here accelerates as time goes on is because of required minimum distributions. Even if you don't spend the full RMD, taxes still have to come out and they never get reinvested. So that means you have less money you're working with each time. So now let's throw in one other small variable, which is a change to living expenses. And with this toggle, we're adding just under $1,000 in extra spending each month. And if you think about retirement and how you'll be spending your time, that's pretty easy to do. So we can immediately see that this is a completely different scenario now. This plan is now in serious trouble and would have to implement changes changes to get it back on track. And so when a plan looks like this, all it takes is a serious bear market or even a couple of years of high medical expenses and the plan could run out of money pretty soon. And in fact, when we go in here 
and look at a Monte Carlo analysis, looks like we're coming back with 66% probability of success. So not very good. I wouldn't be comfortable with a situation like this if it were one of our real clients. You really only have one shot of not messing up retirement. So I don't think anybody would be comfortable with these odds. And real quick, if you found this helpful so far, will you click the thumbs up on the video for us? And so this is where planning comes in. When we get a situation like this, we start asking questions like, what kind of variables do we need to change in order to reset the trajectory back towards success? Is it investing differently? Is it spending slightly less? Is it making changes to the balance sheet? Is it something more drastic, like maybe having to sell your home and move somewhere else? These are real questions that need to be worked through. And so a possible reduction to social security means that families have to go back to the drawing board to plan and get ahead of an issue like this. You really don't wanna be caught by surprise if this comes down the line because you'll have less choices available to you then than you do now. All right, so let's talk for a minute about social security filing and when you should be considering taking this benefit. The one thing I wanna bring up here is that if you wait to file later and the social security benefit is reduced, will you have wanted to be earning the unreduced amount up until that point? What we don't know yet is how they would implement these reductions if they brought them. And so that's gonna be another factor that plays into this. On the other hand, if you take it early, which would be at your minimum retirement age or MRA, which is age 62, then you're penalized for taking it early. And if you take it right at 62, you're getting as much as 30% less of the benefit you're entitled to. So then if this reduction comes in, would it be reducing your already reduced amount? That could be tragic to have such a little social security benefit. We're keeping a close eye and releasing videos as quickly as we can once information comes out. So if you're not subscribed yet, maybe you consider doing that right now so you can be on the list for videos that come out. Now, I am curious though, how do you feel about it. What would you do? Would you take it early or would you actually wait and take it later? Do us a favor and write in the comment box below the video so that I can hear about what you're thinking. Now, they're starting to consider some possible solutions to this issue, but what we know so far is that they're considering increasing the payroll taxes. So if you're still working, you're gonna be contributing more towards Social Security. And they're also considering increasing the eligibility age, which could mean bumping your minimum retirement age up to higher than 62. That could also mean making the full retirement age, which is currently 66, 67, making that older as well. If I had to speculate, I think that they would do a combination of various different things. So what does this mean for you as you're planning your retirement? Guys, make sure you're getting ahead of this. Don't wait to start looking at the impact that something like this could have to your retirement plan. Go back to the drawing board, or if you haven't started planning, then do so. If your retirement projections included receiving the full social security benefit, which frankly, everyone's did until recently, then this is something that needs to be addressed within your projections. If you plan for something and it doesn't work out, what are the variables that you've already planned and know that you can implement to get yourself back on track? And if you need some help with this, visit our website. You can reach out to us if you're interested in talking to us, but we also have free resources available as well as a newsletter that you can sign up on our website. So I hope you found this helpful. Consider sharing it with someone and we'll be doing more videos about it as information comes out. And until then, and stay wise and stay wealthy.